We're here with uh, Craig Heyman, General Manager, Industry Cloud Solutions at the IBM conference uh, in Orlando. Uh, Craig, you just uh, inherited what used to be Lotus and then IBM Collaboration Solutions. You must have a lot of vice presidents uh, men, uh, reporting to you right now. Uh, so, so, Volker, yes, I, I do have a lot of vice presidents reporting for me. <laughs> um, but let me give you some context of how that works. Uh, if I think of uh, social, mobile, big data analytics, and uh, cloud, uh, what we're doing is bringing that together uh, more rapidly than we've ever done before. At the Lotus community, at the IDM Connect conference, we've been on this journey for over a decade. Uh, what we're intent on doing is moving that more quickly to the cloud, wiring analytics more deeply than we've ever wired in before. And so that's part of um, why I came back to Lotus, truthfully, to try to accelerate the rate and pace by which we're delivering that capability to our customers. And so at Connect in 2014 here in Orlando, a lot of uh, exciting announcements, uh, uh, notes in Domino to the cloud, connections in the cloud, uh, connects the talent management suite with uh, Watson Foundations buried deep into it. Um, and you need a lot of vice presidents to do that. <laughs> we, uh, we've seen you in the past at those conferences talk about uh, major releases and roadmaps and things like that. And this, this, time, this year it has been completely different. You've, mm -hmm. show, you've shown us how a solution works and you're going to deliver through the cloud. How are you dealing with the customers or countries like our country in Germany? But people are more reluctant uh, to move the data out of their own data center into storage somewhere else. Mm. How do you talk to those and address those issues? Uh, so what's really interesting is what's happened over the last 12 months is, one, with the shift towards cloud. So what has happened is vendors like ourselves, like IBM, have become to appreciate how difficult it is to go through um, version upgrades and uh, how difficult it is to move between data centers. So what that's meant is that we've put into our products the ability to do upgrades to them in place without major upgrades. That's that's one. And certainly that's uh, our hope for our uh, for our announcements this week is that, that that's an illustration of that. It's not a rip and replace strategy. The second is we're delivering them into our own cloud data centers. Last week we announced $1.2 billion of in investment into the software pods, as it were. So these are uh, cloud data centers all over the world, including in Germany and many other countries within Europe, so that organizations can uh, run in the cloud in their country, you know, within the borders of their own country, so that they can honor their own privacy and uh, preferences about where, where data flows within their organization. They can run it highly secure. And the data is their employee data, for example, the collaboration data is theirs. Uh, we, IBM, don't uh, lay claim to that. We don't sell that for advertising purposes or anything else like that. Um, they're able to run in the cloud and not have to give up any of that personal information to, to anybody else. Mm. So what's the significance of this cloud, of this, uh, what were they called, soft layer, soft mm. layer acquisition? What has changed the game for you and IBM that enables you to do new things? Soft layer is, uh, um, perhaps many people have not heard of soft layer, but uh, uh, if you were to open up your phone, um, certainly on my phone, about half of the applications that run on my phone run on software. So applications like uh, Tumblr or Fitbit or OpenTable, and there are many, many more, they use uh, software as their cloud service provider. Uh, and the reason why they are so popular is because it's very easy to uh, d deliver something as a service on software. You can either run it in a private environment, you can run it in a shared public environment. It's more than just basic virtualization. When we saw software and what they had done, the ability to stand up these pods around the world, we became very excited about that. And so what's happening inside IBM is that our product teams are every day developing on software. During the due diligence of software, we stood up Connexa, some of our commerce offerings on software just as a test. And it was very, very easy for us to do that. So you'll see in the first quarter, second quarter of 2014, more and more IBM offerings. Connexa is one we announced this week, uh, run it running on software. Uh, the benefit that many of software's other customers are getting, we at IBM are, are, are now getting. Mm -hmm. And then the, the pods that you talked about, this is the investment where you build new data centers in all places in the world, like yes. you build one in Germany and so forth. I think you started in Amsterdam in, in Europe. Is that, is that true? Uh, the pods, I'm not aware if it's, a, I, I don't, I'm sorry, I don't remember the exact yeah. build-out sequence, yeah. but yeah, we will have pretty much every major country covered 
um, in 2014, and there'll be more in 2015. In addition, we've acquired other companies uh, that allow you to move data very quickly between those centers. These pods are on the internet backbone. Uh, we also purchased a company called Aspera, A-S-P-E-R-A, which allows you to move data very, very rapidly over a public uh, network, 100 times faster than basic file transfer. And what you'll see is that uh, that will be available on SoftLayer, uh, but also that is what we will use to move our data between uh, these centers if, if that's uh, needed. So now you apply that to IBM Connections, apply that to Nodes Domino, apply that to Connexa. Anytime there's a large amount of data, big data is the current term, uh, you typically have to move that around. And so we have some tools and techniques that allow us to move that very, very rapidly. What's happened in IBM over the last, uh, I'll say, three months is we have gone through a very dramatic pivot. And it's easy to say, and um, perhaps many people have said before, IBM should change. But what's happened in the last, the last three months is we have done that change. And in fact, some of this reorganization we just went through is a, is a sign of that. So IBM Connections has become the lead brand there in the collaboration space. Now you're moving, you have Connections email, and then you're moving in the same time as Connections chat, chat and conference and so forth. Um, is, that, is that your new delivery model through new versions in the cloud and then finally also delivering them on-premises? Yeah. Uh, so IBM Connections has been a, a, just a, an incredible um, success for us. Um, once we realized that customers were not going to rip and replace what they already had, and that you have to integrate into their existing mobile applications or collaboration tools or whatever it is that they're using, whether it's from IBM or somebody else, um, that led to connections. And, and then we have extended and applied that now to chat, now to mail, now to meetings, to, to realize that the, more, the way to get more people to participate in chat, in meetings, and in mail is to integrate it with all that is already there. So you don't have to change your mail provider, for example, to get very uh, capable collaborations. So that's one. That's, and so the, the rebranding of uh, uh, IBM Connections, that's sort of another step along the way. The second step is, in order to accelerate the speed with which people can actually get the software and start using it, because people get the value from it when they start using it, not when they buy it necessarily, is to deliver it both on-premise, on so if someone wants to run it in their data center, but also as a service. So they get all of the benefit of you know, not having to buy the capital, not having to pay, uh, get the labor to install and configure it, all of that we do ahead of time, and they're able to just, uh, just start using it right away. Look, most people understand this. Most people understand the shift towards cloud. They understand what we're doing with connections. I think the surprise for them has been how quickly we IBM have shifted to this. Um, I think if we were to go back 10 years, some of these trends that we've talked about for many years, I think what's new and, and unique about what we've done in 2014 at this year's Connect is we've shown how quickly we have shifted and are now indeed delivering uh, upon that vision. So in the opening session, there's usually a, a huge uh, 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 crowd of people who are a little bit behind that move. And, yeah. and often the market is not as far ahead as the vendor. It takes them a couple of years to then also adopt those things like adopt collaboration in the cloud and so forth. So those tend to be on notes and domino yeah. and so forth. Uh, you had one announcement that we are now doing platform as a service, so you can run customer applications in the cloud? Yes. Uh, so, look, Notes and Domino, uh, we love Notes and Domino. And uh, it's, uh, we, well, customers have asked us for a more creative way, a couple of things. One is more, more ways by which they can deploy it. Uh, so that is we are bringing Notes and Domino to the cloud. So you can run that on software, all that I talked about with software. You can now run Notes and Domino uh, in the cloud. That's email and the applications. That's one. That's a very important step. The second point is the integration. We continue to open it up so third parties can plug into it. So let's say, for example, you want to integrate uh, Notes and Domino to integrate with Salesforce. Well, you're able to do that so that you can take a, an email thread that you have inside Notes and Domino, maybe running on-prem, maybe running in the cloud, in software in the cloud, and you want to in integrate that with, soft, with uh, Salesforce or another CRM as a service provider. We let you do that. You can get the benefit of running these things in the cloud without having to change you know, all of your core infrastructure back in. 
like when you look at this, when you put aside all of the vendor, you know, hype and uh, you know, statements, uh, when it comes down to it, that just makes sense. That's just what people want to do. They, they, they have, they're like our customers, their lives are quite difficult. They have a certain amount of IT budget. They want to stand up systems. They want to serve their employees. They want to serve their customers. And we think we have a very pragmatic and, and uh, modern approach to do that. And then, of course, building on, on, uh, on all of that was to then continue to innovate into the mail platform as well. This conference that's now called uh, Connect uh, used to be called Lotusphere for a while, for a, for a long while. Yeah. So I think we're now in the 21st uh, conference. This is quite a success story, isn't it? Yes. I mean, uh, I, I thanked uh, uh, our, our attendees this morning. We could only be here today uh, because at this moment, talking about all the things I've talked about, because of the passionate, loyal customers and partners that we have at Lotus Fair for many, many years. These are some of the brightest, smartest people in the world. We love them. You know, they're, they're sharp with their opinions, a few sharp elbows, they're quick with their compliments. But that is what has made what is now connections and those domino in the cloud, uh, now Connexa. It is what we talked about today was a result of all of that feedback. We could only be where we are today because of that passionate loyal community. And so we, we want to open that up even further, even broader. And, uh, and so that's really what we're trying to do when we talk about Connect. Because, you know, perhaps it maybe sounds uh, uh, to more of an intellectual point of view, it's only... Is, it, um, is that really what you're trying to do, what Mail was trying to do, was to connect people together. And so we said, you know, let's bring it back to what we're trying to do, connect. We're trying to connect people. So what's the outlook for next year? Are you going to bring in more of your organization to this conference, maybe? Mm -hmm. um, yes, I mean, you saw some of that today. You know, if you think about how we were emp empowering employees through collaboration technologies, through human resources capabilities with Connexa, We also talked about the digital experience for consumers, customers. We're going to extend that thought out um, and actually we'll be in Tampa in May at our Smarter Commerce Summit. And there we will talk about many of the things we talked about here, but really uh, with a lot more focus on how marketing, how the CMO, the chief marketing officer, the head of procurement, uh, the head of e-commerce, how they can create these uh, digital experiences or um, engage moments. Uh, if you think about from a, uh, an employee, a moment of engagement that you create from an employee where they feel good about the work they do, that's what we've talked about here at Connect. We'll extend that into the Smarter Commerce in, uh, Summit in May in Tampa. We'll talk about how to create those engaged moments using some of those base, same best practices, but for consumers. Craig, thank you very much for talking to us. Thank you, Volker.